So the Jadami Maiden Stakes is next, and this is a four-mile maiden, so this will be some of the new horses that have been brought in for the Grand National. I think getting one of their runs in. Um, the top one is catching over Hassel for Thomas Rogers. Channels Gate, John Morgan, Inga Bird, Darren Thompson, Lexington Regal, Vinnie Gerard, Lord of the National, Joshua Sutherland, Motifare, Dane, and Ronaldo for Alex Cherry. Sang Blur, Craig Beckwith, Stagecoach, Graham Clutterbook, Taya Cobra, B. Fotheringham, Blue Penny, Martellinum, Camp House, B. Fotheringham, Elevated Splore, Craig Allen, New Blood Burt, Vinnie Gerard, and Hume. Cassie, David Robertson, so only 15 then, and away they go, I thought there'd be more in this, because people are trying to bring in a new national horse, but uh, maybe not, maybe put most people happy with what they've got, there's one or two newcomers in there, including this channel's gate for John Morgan, they get to the first one, which is a ditch, and there's a former already New Blood Burt has gone, so New Blood Burt didn't get very far on his debut, and he's out of the race at the first of the 26 fences, and over that next one, and it's Camp House didn't look like he enjoyed jumping that at all. And he's some way detached from the others already after a bit of a mistake there. And Channel's Gate is in the lead. Stagecoach in second, Lexington Regal is third. As they get two to third. And there's another fall there, Sang Blur's gone. So that's well, Craig Beckers, I think, gone. So he's had a fall already today. So he's doing so well with his jumpers today then as they get over number four and another mistake there as well by elevated splore so there's one or two of these and you wouldn't fancy riding in the national i wouldn't have thought so far as they get over this ditch and let's see them over it and they're already really well strung out and channels gate is in the lead a john morgan front runner and john morgan's horses are known to miss the odd one out this last season or two as well so Will be worth keeping an eye on. Stagecoach in second for Graham Clutterbuck, then Lexington Regal for Vinnie Gerard and Lord of the National for Joshua Sutherland is his latest national named horse to try and live up to his name. And catching over Hassel and Motifare and Dano running together as they get over the next. I think Motifare and Dano is one of those ones that falls quite a lot. Ronaldo, the second of the Alex Cherry runners made a mistake at that one, but look at them, they're strung out like Washington, they've still got three miles to go, and goodness knows how far apart they'll be come the end of the race at this rate, as they get over the next one, another mistake by Motifare, Dan, and another mistake as well by Ronaldo, and also, um, I think it was Inga Bird that didn't jump it very well either, so... Look, one or two of these are still on their holidays at the moment, but they are virtually an Indian file already, and... Like I say, we've still got the best part of three miles to go. And Channel's Gate has stood off that one and has gone. So there you go. I don't want to be the... Oh, and another one at the back as well. Elevated Splore. So this is an incredible race so far because they've passed the winning post. They've still got two more circuits to go. John Morgan's front runner has gone. And Craig Allen's horse has gone as well. That's two of the big names out of it. Sangler's gone. Craig Beckwith some good runners this season was he's out of it as well and new blood burt went at the first and there's probably 25 lengths between first and last as they get over number nine so an action-packed maiden race here then and stagecoach being joined by lexington regal catching over hassle is behind that one in third then lord of the national in fourth and motifare dano is next then blue penny after that one then a gap to tire cobra and Hume cassie and then Inga Bird, Ronaldo, and finally Camp House as they get over that ditch. Oh, and another one's gone at the back. Camp House just didn't take off at all. First, he just ran straight into the fence. So, jumping a bit suspect today from quite a lot of these. Uh, we have seen a lot of fallers in this. With five gone already. And still a circuit and a half to go. So, stagecoach in front then. Lexington Regal second. Catching over Hassel back in third, Lord of the National fourth, then Motifare, Danai and Blue Penny, and then a four length gap to the rest of them, oh, headed by Taya Koba. I suppose we should be thankful that the pull up problem got fixed a couple of seasons ago. We'll be looking at a few of these pulling up as well, and we'd have nothing left in the race. So they get over the 13th, and that's the midway point in the jumping, and Channel's Gate has gone, Camp House has gone, Elevated Splore has gone, Sang Blur has gone, and New Blood Burt has gone. And we've still got half the fences to jump. Over that one we go then. And they're all safely over that one, I think. 
Yet Ronaldo is just the back marker in now, depleted field headed by stagecoach is in front. Lord of the National second, catching over Hassel and Lexington Regal, then Motifar in Danai, then Blue Penny and then Hume Cassie, then Inga Bird and then Toyakova. And finally Ronaldo in this action pack, thrills and spills, Jadami Maiden Chase and stagecoach is in front by two. And down towards the next. One or two slow jumps at the back, but they're all safe at least. And stagecoach's lead is down to a nick with catching over Hassel, hassling him on the outside. Lord of the National is in third. And on what you know from the trainers and the possible bloodlines, you would think that one would be in a good chance of winning there. With a name like that, it's bound to be coming from that line of national named horses that Joshua Sutherland's got. But it's catching over Hassel and stagecoach in front. Lord of the Nationals back in third. Lexington Regal is fourth. Motifar and Danai is next. Then a gap to Blue Penny, Hume Cassie and Inga Bird. And then out of shot, Tyre Cobra and Ronaldo. But they're popping over this next one. And they're all over that one. I guess the back two have got over it okay. But we passed the winning post in a minute. Then there you go. We've got one more circuit to go. I think we managed to get around that circuit without losing anybody. And it's catching over Hassel in the lead. By about two and a half lengths to stagecoach in second, Lord of the National third, Motivare Danai four, and Lexington Regal five. Then a good gap of four or five lengths to the next three, Blue Penny, Ingerbird, and Hume Cassie. And then a gap of ten to the back two of Ronaldo and Tyacoba as they get over number 18 and catch over Hassel. He's in front, stagecoach and Lord of the National, Motivare Danai and Lexington Regal. And Ingerbird, who's getting a little bit closer. Blue Penny and Hume Cassie as they make their way to this next ditch and all over that one safely this time the leader Thomas Rogers I think in the lead by two and gets over that one nicely and the jumpings get a little bit of the wing bird made a bit of a mistake that time they're inside the final mile now and catching over Hassel he's in the lead by two lengths to stagecoach in second Lord of the National is third. Motifar and Donai is fourth. Big gap then to Lexington Regal who's dropping back. Then Ingerbird, Yim Cassie and Blue Penny as they take the next. And they're all safely over that one. They've got five more to take. With catching over Hassel now being joined again by Stagecoach. Loose horse between the two of them could cause some problems. One or two of the chasing pack are jumping slowly. But catching over Hassel in front over this ditch. From Lord of the National who's now gone second. Stagecoach looks like it's hit the wall. What's a far end? Danae trying to run. Look at this Hume Cassie coming through. Those David Robertson horses like to finish. And there's still four furlongs to go. And it's catching over Hassel who's in front. Catching over Hassel. From Lord of the National in second. Then Motifare, Dano and Hume Cassie. Blue Penny's running on from the back as well. Stagecoach is beaten there. And beating the retreat. They're coming out towards the third last fence. And catching over Hassel is being pushed along. But jumped that really well. Got over it nicely. Lord of the National challenging. Then Hume Cassie and Motifare, Danai. Inga Bird and Blue Penny trying to run on. Two more fences to take. And two and a half furlongs to race. And Lord of the National finally hits the front. Lord of the National takes it up then at the second last gets over it nicely gets away from it well suddenly has put four lengths between himself and everybody else Hume Cassie moves into second then comes Motifare Danai catching over Hassel's now beating Inga Bird and Blue Penny still trying to run on but Lord of the National with Hume Cassie chasing Lord of the National looks like it's only got to jump the final fence comes up towards the final fence now with a good four length lead it's a very short run in pops over it nicely jumps it really well in second Hume Cassie as well but they're not going to get to Lord of the National uh, up towards the line, Lord of the National takes an action pack race. Hume Cassie second, Motifare Dano third, then Bozinga Burden Blue Penny. And the field will trail back to Taya Kobo, who got round. Ronaldo was either pulled up or unseated his ride out towards the end of the race without a shot. But it's Lord of the National takes it, and that's another one of those national horses for Joshua Sutherland. He might have too many before long, the way he's going. And let's take a look at the full list. Lord of the National, the winner for Joshua Sutherland. Hume Cassie for David Robertson was second. Montefiore and Danai for Alex Cherry was third. Ingerbird, Darren Thompson, fourth. And Blue Penny was fifth.